seafoam, destroy my engine, and see me running for my life, check this out. You're not gonna believe what happens. All right, guys, let's get this started. CRC and seafoam. Which one's best? Well, as you guys know, I've tested CRC in many videos. Now, I have something really important to show you on seafoam, because you're not gonna believe what happens. First, let's go ahead and take this bore scope, go inside the engine, take a look at these intake valves. I just wanna show you what we're up against. Look at all that carbon buildup. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of gunk. Also, I want you guys to stick around till the end because there's something really special in store for you now. All right guys, have we gotten any exhaust smoke? Not quite yet. Let's continue spraying. We have a couple things coming up that I cannot believe even happened. You're definitely gonna need to see this before using seafoam. So make sure you check this out. Are you kidding me? Look at all this smoke. We're definitely doing something here today. Man, you got a surprise. All right, guys, are you ready to go inside this engine and see does seafoam actually clean intake valves on a direct injection engine or GDI? So we all have that carbon buildup issue and we can take the cylinder head off this mower pretty easy. So we're gonna do a compression test before and after. We're also gonna use an infrared gun and other thermometers. Also, you can see we're timing the test and we're gonna go half and half mixed. Half oil, half gasoline. This engine's really gonna be lucky to run and boy do I got some great things in store. So you can see I've installed a clear fuel tank. This way we can see just what's going in the engine. And this is used oil. So I won't be surprised with all the issues I'm having gumming up the carburetor. But nothing that a little starter fluid won't fix. So we'll continue on with our test. And guys, make sure if you want to see some great videos, that you came up with ideas make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll definitely put your ideas to the test so whether it's transmission fluid run through the engine hey just make sure you drop a comment below let me know what you guys want to see next also we're going to drop this in the generator we're going to find out just how well seafoam can help performance by adding a kilowatt meter to the generator so this way we can know the amperage, voltage, and wattage with a load on the generator and before and after with the seafoam. So with it being timed and the load, we'll be able to see does seafoam actually help out our performance. I'm definitely excited to see this. This is something I've been waiting for for quite some time, trying to put all the pieces together. So you guys are really going to be excited with the results. And I used this Seal All product. It was a little skeptical, but it seemed to work well for a fuel tank. And just like that, or any other product like Seafoam, or some of the tools that I use, whether it be a bore scope, just make sure you check out the description below and I'll go ahead and include a link. This way you guys can find out more information, not only on the tools that's being used, but on Seafoam. So if you want to take a closer look, I'll also include some more information in this video, giving you guys the cast number, the product number, and other important information because I want to know everything that goes inside my engine and we're going to go ahead and strip this engine down this way we can take a closer look I know you guys 
I've been waiting for it. And after all that oil, I'm really curious to see just what it did. At one point, I thought the engine was definitely going to blow up. I thought it definitely destroyed my engine. But it seems like the test is going to carry on. So, you can see I got my digital torque meter. Take our push rods out. Now, let's go ahead, break our head loose. If you have any questions at all, hey, go check out the comments below because I'm telling you that's where the best information comes from. I've learned a lot myself checking out other people's questions and answers. You guys ask a lot of great questions. So make sure you dive right in to the NIA community. Nate's Interactive Auto. So we'll go ahead, add our fuel to our generator. You can see we're about to fire the generator up. I'm ready to see just how well this is going to go. So hopefully it won't cause my generator to start smoking a lot because also this is a new generator. And I'm going to use this little small heater. puts out 1500 watts of electricity and put it on a full load. This way we can judge the seafoam and see how it affects the performance. You can see there's a lot of smoke. So that's just the generator starting up. Not so sure that's a good sign, but that's what it is. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and we'll definitely come up with some really great ideas as a matter of fact the next idea that I have is going to be just amazing so I hadn't really ever seen anyone perform it and I can't wait till I get this project finished I'm really really excited for you guys to see it well right here you can see we're looking at our voltage now our amperage now we're going to be looking at next spot will be our watts now we're going to get this cleaned up around the gasket area this way we get a good seal black within her always does a really great job at cleaning this stuff up and I've never had an issue with a head gasket so go ahead and put our head back on torque down our head bolts with our torque wrench Now let's go ahead, add the sea foam since we've got everything back together. Here you can see the product information. So also we have the flash point. Well y'all, now we've added our sea foam to the lawnmower and I'm definitely ready to get wrenching. So let's go ahead, see if we can't get this test finished with. I have the lawnmower and the generator simultaneously running. I'm ready to see these results and as you can see right here we have it in slow motion Alright, we're finally starting to get really, really close to see these results. You guys just aren't going to believe how this turned out. I know I definitely didn't. I'm definitely a skeptic of just about all these products. Well, stick around just another moment and find out for yourself. 
36 minutes and 3 seconds before sea foam. Now, 38 minutes. Remember, guys, if you're Once performing you're this spraying, test yourself, sure to you want to bring it up to about 2,500 RPM. RPMs. Next, take it for a quick 10 minute drive. Wow, look at all this smoke. We sure do have a lot of carbon buildup coming out of this mower. As you can see, here's our measurements before sea foam, 21 mm and 17 mm after sea foam. So we do get quite a bit of a smaller measurement after using sea foam. As far as the piston goes, I see a little bit, but I don't like to give my opinion. So thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Let's go inside the engine with this bore scope. Make sure you guys check out the link below if you want to see your own intake valves. Now, let's go ahead and look at the carbon buildup. As you saw earlier in this video, you're really not going to believe this. The effect that this product actually had, I was definitely surprised. Well, look at all the carbon, look at all the valve gunk. Is it even possible to clean up this much gunk with one treatment? Well, you're about to find out just how well this stuff actually worked. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at these valves. Now that is definitely something. Now, reduced carbon buildup on some, a lot on others. Well, thank you guys for watching.